And now uh, a Hang Massive track from YouTube. Uh, it's quite a recent one, uh, 24th September this year, Warmth of the Sun's Rays. And Hang, Hang Massive will be in Exeter uh, Tuesday, uh, 20, 29th of October. Uh, yeah, got that. That's what, sorry, I'm just looking across at, the, across at the studio. It is, it's Tuesday, and there, are, there still are tickets, which I don't really understand because there's millions of um, viewers on YouTube. Right. But where are they? It's, um, by the way, for those of you who don't know, it's, it's Wednesday, the 23rd of October at 10.56 a.m. So Tuesday the 29th. Today is Wednesday. No, Tuesday the, Tuesday the 29th is, you think it's the 26th? Today is Wednesday the 23rd of October. 23rd. Today is yeah, Wednesday. Yeah, so there's six days to go. That's what, that makes sense. Yeah, I was just reminding the listeners. Today is Wednesday, the 23rd of October, and it's, and it's 10.57 a.m. in the morning on Phonic FM 106.8 and www.phonic.fm. And I'm just going to mention also that we, we did go to um, Light Minds. Yes, we did. On Friday. Yes, we did. And also, for those of you who don't know, I have a little snapshot of Will that I might play <laughs> on the show. Okay, okay. So, well, that'd be, well, that'd be interesting. Look, can I just talk about, a little bit about Hang Massive first? Yeah, sure. Because we met Adji. Yeah, carry who's, on. Who's from the Digital Marketing University. Well, I met him. I've already met him slightly, I think, but I actually asked him. Yeah, he helped me down some steps. Oh, right, that was good of him. The Indian guy. Yeah. Yeah, he helped me down some steps. That, well... Yes, all right. Well, we'll go to that as well. We'll get back to everything that we're going past. It was a very good idea to have two sort of seminar rooms and one lecture room spread out with coffee and a bar and food and Ugh. various things in between. But we found it quite confusing, didn't we? Because uh, yeah, we did. Not everything happened on time. I would just like to say no, no. For for to correct a little correction, there nothing happened on time. <laughs> and I would just like to say that that. You, they give you, they give you a booklet with all the, with all the times of each thing, with all the times of each um, cinema or some or uh, meeting or uh, whatever you want to call it, and none of it ran on time. It either ran over or, or was late. Uh, so, so for most people, that's not only slightly confusing because. Well, at these events, I mean, obviously people are going there for the content, but they want but to meet what, each other as well. But, what we'll, but if you're what, in a chair, or if you're... Chuck, well, can I explain this to you? Well, I'll just explain, if because I was there as your minder yeah, on this ca occasion. Yeah, carry on, yeah. So whatever your experience was, is there's three lots of stairs between well, one here, room and another room. Here's you're my not mind. quite sure where you ought to be. Can I just say, for, those, for the audience that doesn't know, Will is my minder for a lot of things. I, Will gets very concerned about me. Well, I'm concerned about you, John, because out of your chair, you can manage um, 50 yards at max before yes. you get exhausted. Yes. So it's and that, a, it's not a lack of fitness, well. No. So it's not fun. It's not fundamentally a problem. But I'm having to carry this chair yes. up three flights. Well, it's not three flights. It's not a lot of steps, is it? No, but it's enough. It's enough. Yes. So um, we would just like to say. Uh, from our point of view, we want to, we try to get ahead of ourselves and get to the right spot on the right side, slight, slightly five, early, five, five minutes ahead of where, where it is. Oh, so our rescheduling was a was a difficulty. It was. It was a wonderful event in overall. It was. But we just make that point. Yeah, and I, I would like to see some improvement about uh, about time management from Light Mind's point of view next year. Last year, it was over two days. Which is, I think, the fundamental solution to the problem, because they could run one, they could do, um, you know, a full presentation in the in the big room, and then discussions in a smaller room. And also, I would like and to then say, I, the next I, I would just like to say that for the first year ever, they were they they had a they had a they had a man serving coffee and coffee and refreshments. Well, how they expected somebody to make coffee and refreshments all in 25 minutes, I don't know. So that ran over. So it made it. It made the next um, scheduling uh, show or get together or cinema late. So nobody knew what they were doing on time management. But all but all the other bits of the show was great. Yes. Yes. So it's only a quibble. 
It's only a quibble. We, we appreciate this show very much. We appreciate what like minds do, and it's always a pleasure to actually be there. Um, and we'll be returning next year, but we would hope that the time management um, is 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 somewhat improved. Having said that, actually surprised me slightly um, because I th- I thought based on what it's t- spoken about last year, which was the sort of marketing funnel, as I remember it, the relation between various stages, he would know how if you've got a, a, an app such as Hang Massive who have millions of views on YouTube, that would translate into ticket sales. There are still tickets available, uh, I, I happen to know. So those 100 or 200 tickets, or whatever number it is, how does that relate to the number of views on YouTube? But he thought he, did, he didn't want to answer that question. He said, well, what is it, what's it about? As an experience, what is it about? That's what we should be thinking about. Well, he's, he's quite right. Because people will only be people will only be inclined to go they know what it's about beforehand. So how are we going to explain it? Well, presumably you, you, you know what the show is about beforehand if you're, if you're trying to explain it to an audience. You don't know what the show is about exactly because it, happen, it hasn't happened yet, but, you've, but you probably know from previous performances what, what it's likely to be like. And you've got to give, so, you've got to give people some idea in your, uh, within your advertising. So... So that's how you would know. So that's what you was asking. What's it like as an experience? What's that show like as an experience? Well, we've got to find out ways of ways of uh, explaining that. Yes, but what I'm saying, when you advertise something, people want to know what what it's what it's marginally going to be about in the advert. That's true. To see, if I go to a wrestling show, I want to know who's going to be there. If they say, "Oh, an American professional wrestler on uh, from WWE is going to be there," um, you know, uh, uh, five-time WWE WWE champion, you know, it's, it, it, I know, you know, I know, I want to go immediately. So I buy, I buy a ticket, I share it, I, I, I encourage other people to go. If they say, oh, um, uh, uh, just a, a British, uh, somebody from uh, Exeter, Devon, with, um, with not very much wrestling experience is going to be there, uh, I'm not really good, that's not really going to um, stand out to anyone. No. So that's, that's what he meant by it. Can't, can't you see? Yeah, 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 no, I can see that. Do you understand? But, yes, I do. I do understand, John. But what we got? But the qu- the question seems to me sort of how much how much of the show is a fake can? Because earlier on you were saying um, we still need a campus, we still need education in in real spaces yes, because we do. online l- learning doesn't work completely, or only works in coordination with something else. Yes. It, so so what? So how I, do we communicate the experience can of, I of how massive? <laughs> Enough for people to want to. Uh... Can I just say, going back to online learning, now my partner Will has brought it up. Online learning is wonderful, but you need that in cooperation, in, co- in cooperation with, with um, you know, uh, uh, actually learning in a campus face to face because you need to be able to speak to the tutors in real time. You need to be able to, do, you, you know, I I can't imagine anybody. I I think. I think a lot of people struggle with online learning and uh, and that's all there is to it. I don't think you can get rid of university campuses completely. No. Um, so no. and and maybe we can't we can't fully explain Hang Massive it unless really, people are prepared to come and listen. It really depends on what you on what you're studying and uh, you know if you if you want to study a full university degree um, you 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 certainly need to be you certainly need to have the opportunity to to go to university some of the time to speak to people in real time and then the rest of it could be online learning but you you you, you certainly need the opportunity to be able to go to university sometimes and uh, touch base face to face with with the tutors and uh, you know things and and so I don't think you can you can you can say goodbye to um, real-time learning and replace it with online learning in this uh, area, I think it's too early. Well, I 
before I play Hang Massive, I'll just mention uh, Zany Ants or Zoom, Zoom, which is configuration software. This is one, one of the speakers from Set Squared. Uh, they're they're one, of the, one of the new companies that was part of the presentations. Um, Set Squared is, is an incubator based in Exeter and other places. Uh, but one of the things Marco, Marco Zerdin, I'll put his LinkedIn contact on, on our Twitter feed. Um, he, was, he was saying their training I mean, it has moved m more online. They used to do day courses, but they find that if they do short online sessions and then let people try out the software and then come back to another online session, um, this works just as well. Yeah. But may maybe they mix it up with, with day courses as well, I don't know. No, I, 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 well, maybe they, yeah, maybe they mix it up with day courses, but I'm talking about still having to go to university, university some of the time, maybe once or twice a month, to, to, to actually touch base with the tutors. So you've met them in real, in real life. So you've met them in real time. Okay, that all makes sense. Well, does it really? Does it really? Yeah, it does, it does make sense. I think we have all these all of these things going on at once. Really. Does it? Does it really make sense to you? The whole point of doing online. It makes, yeah, it makes it makes sense. Um, I mean, uh, no, no, but most people who speak about online learning ought to speak about blended learning or action learning or some combination of things with with whatever else is going on online. And I don't think anybody's claiming the campus is going to disappear completely. But going back to our earlier conversation, I'm not sure how much of it we're going to need. Uh. I don't. I don't think students are going to have to be on a campus uh, seven months of the year, neither, something like that. Neither do I. But uh, then, but you know, because you find a lot of university students have to have to sometimes get 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 a job while they're while they're studying because money is tight for 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 the majority of university students. Anyway, uh, what we were try what we were saying beforehand was Hang Massive, uh, going to be in Exeter t Tuesday, and there are lots of other places as well. So if somebody's actually seen their show uh, in some other part of the country and can find a way of describing it, um, tweet us a link to something. W e n o t n o. This is called Warmth of the Sun's Rays. <laughs> 